Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be doing a Tyranitar duo but not just any Tyranitar duo we will be dueling Tyranitar with Groudon um, so with Mudshot Solar Beam in clear weather uh, according to Poker Battler in theory we shouldn't be able to do this uh, it's about 371 point something Time to win, which if you do any duos uh, that are tier 4 and below, you get 180 seconds each times 2, that's 360 seconds. At this point in time, we've probably tried like on 8 or 9 Tarantars on various movesets. In this case, this is Bite, Stone Edge, which is a good moveset to do against because uh, Groudon does resist uh, Stone Edge and Bite does very little damage. Um, but it is still very challenging because you can see here, for example, uh, we do a solar beam and we're left with like uh, very little HP left. Enough HP that if it keeps doing bite, we can get off the solar beam. But solar stone edge being very quick, uh, it makes it very challenging. Uh, so you can see there, we actually didn't get off uh, the solar beam. So that actually wasn't uh, that great of a situation. You see a lot of wasted energy, which is what makes this duo pretty tough. And you'll see here, the stone edge was good. It kind of gave us energy uh, into our next solar beam. And uh, the funny thing is, like, um, Groudon's other viable charge move, I guess, in this situation is Earthquake. But Earthquake, even though it has stab, through his ground typing, is actually still worse than solar beam. This shows you how OP. So you'll see we end up in this scenario a lot where we have, um, a, where we have like, a decent amount of HP where the the fast move is not going to faint us. And you'll see here we're like, oh come on, let's let's get a, um, please give give us a opportunity to get off the solar beam. And you'll see there, uh, we did flip it at like ninety one and we um, went into a, a very favorable solar beam. And we said like all we need is like one of those favorable chances and we should be able to do this duo. Obviously, if you keep rolling RNG and you you end up getting off the solar beam, all the favorable chances then the time is actually going to be, be quite good. But it's like very unlikely that's going to occur. So you see here, it's looking good. It's looking good. And we should be able to flip it right now. And then 40 into 45, 46. So like we feel pretty good about our chance to, to get this done. So keep hitting it, hitting it, hitting it solar beam and we're like okay we can get off two potentially if we get the stone edge or uh in the right scenario so there we got the energy that's great let's hit it with a solar beam and then from here we're like okay as long as we get off a solar beam uh we should be good so here let's see the stone edge we hit it with a solar beam and I think Alan's solar beam actually went off because mine's rubber banded a little bit. Uh, and you'll see his definitely went off because like I'm waiting forever for my solar beam to occur. And that's a wrap, man. We were super excited, super pumped about doing this duo. is is one that we've been wanting to do for quite a while uh, at Ultra Friends. So thanks for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and I will see everyone in the next video. Thank you.